Today we are going with a new lesson in chapter 12, which is lesson 6, which is talking about permutation and combinations. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to find the permutations and combination. Now, before we're talking about them now, let's ask yourself, what is the permutation and combination? Permutation and the combination is accounting our are accounting methods. They are counting methods. Now, you have to know something that in math, this type of uh, this type of math, we call it statistics and probability. Now. When we talk about box and uh, whisker plot, when we talk about mean, mode, and uh, range, when we talk about <coughs> matrices, when we talk about the frequency and histogram, these are statistics. And here, and we have something we call as counting methods. That's if you have something, you, or you have more than one thing and you want to see how many way you can choose. So in this thing, we call it counting methods. And there's something we call it probability. The probability, we will talk about it next week. So today now we are going to talk about counting methods. You have What's the meaning of counting methods? That you have to find the possible of the number of the possible ways to choose object with order or without order. So the permutation is the number of ways to choose something, something with order and a combinations or a number to choose or the numbers of ways to choose something without order. Now, before talking about them, let's ask yourself now. One a day, you wake up in the morning and you have three uh, shirts. You want to draw them with two pairs of pants. Here now you want to choose which shirt you want to wear to wear with which pants? So you have many ways to choose them. You can wear the blue or let's say the red, let's color them now, let's say that. We can wear the blue one, sorry, the blue one. The blue shirt with the black pants or with the gray. So one of your choices, you can wear the blue with the black or the black with the gray. Then you are no, 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 no. I want to, to wear the red shirt with the black pants. Then you will say, no, 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 I want the red with the gray pants. And you have the pink shirt for the pink shirt. <coughs> You could choose the black pants and the gray pants. So what are the choices now? Now, if I ask many girls here, one of you say, teacher, I want the blue with the black. So one of the way that blue with black. 
the other one blue with the gray. The third one red with the black. Red with the gray. Pink with the black. And pink with the gray. So when you wake up, when you want to go to the school, to the school as an example, you want to wear. So here, Susan have how many ways now to choose what did she wear at, at that morning? She have six ways. She could wear the blue shirt with the black pants. She could wear the blue shirts with the gray pants. She could wear the red with the black. She could wear the red with the gray, the pink with the black, and the pink with the gray. Is it right? Yes, teacher. So how many yes, ways now she has? Six ways. Six, six ways. This six. is the six ways now that Susan has at that morning to wear. One pant with one cheer shirt. This way now that we represent how many ways we call this way here, that we represent how many ways I can choose. <coughs> Just a minute, I'm sorry. So this way now we call it three. So I can use it represent or count how many methods or how many ways can I choose what do I want to wear by the tree. One of the way are the tree, but the tree cannot help me every time. Sometimes I have, as an example, I want to choose um, one girl from grade 11 and one girl from grade 10 and one girl from grade eight. So I have many ways because I have 50 girls in grade eight and 10 girls in grade 10 and 20 girls in grade 11. So I cannot make a tree for all of the name of the girls. So there's an, another easier method that we call it, we call it here the uh, principle of counting methods. That's what I have to do in the principle. Let's come back to the, this example here of Susan. When I told you that Susan can use her three shirts with two pair, so she has six different outfits. And the outfit, as I told you before, red with black, red with gray, blue with black, blue with gray, red, pink with black, and pink with gray. So she has six different outfits. To find this different outfit, outfit, just you have to say that, which is we call it the counting methods, that <coughs> how many shirts she has? She has a three multiplied by how many choices of pants she has? Two. So multiplying them, you get six. This six is the number of the ways to choose how many pants you want to wear in that morning. So we have two ways. The tree diagram that I can use to represent how many ways that can I know which things to wear or the counting methods. The counting methods in order to tell you how many ways you want to find, or how many ways you can find, uh, or you can know how many uh, outfits by multiplying. How many possible shirts? You have three. How many possible pants? You have two. Multiplying three by two, you get six, which is the number of the different outfits that Susan can wear in that morning. <coughs> Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, 
Now, so this is, I, as I told you now, this is here, the multiplication counting principle. If there are M ways to make a first selection and N ways to make a second selection, so to know the number of how many selections, just you have to multiply M times N. As an example here, five shirts. You have five shirts in your cupboard with eight pairs of shorts. So how many choices do you have? You have to multiply five times eight, which is 40, 40 possible output. This is the way, oh, this way we call it counting, our multiplication counting methods or multiplication counting principle. So one of the way by a three diagram, if I want to see which one are the choices, if I want to see the number of the choices, I can count the number of the branches or I can use the multiplication counting principle, which is easier to me. Just I have to see how many share, how many possible <clears throat> wave or how many uh, shares she have. with how many pants she have, multiplying the number of them to get how many possible outfits she could wear in the day. Let's have now an example. Sorry? Teacher, you said something about the graph? Yeah, here, when you draw the, the tree, yes? When we draw the tree, we have We write like lack, uh, sorry. <coughs> How much you mean with actors on each color, like black down and when I, mean I have like one on blue? Oh. Yeah, shall we say that we have a blue, or red, or pink? Blue with black, blue with gray, red with uh, black. And red with the gray, pink with the black, and pink with the gray. Now, how many counting methods? What do you have to do? First, the first one, this is the first one, the second one. So, to know how many possible outcomes you have to do, you have just to count the number of branches. And hey, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, you have six ways to know how many possible outfit you can, or you have to use the counting methods. That's what I mean. Oh, okay, thank you, Miss. Yeah. Now let's have this example here. Use the diagram below how many ways that are uh, there to get from the first floor to the third floor using one escalators. Now here, you are on the first floor. Okay, and you have here, how many choices? You have two. You can go from, and I mean you are here. This was this one, yes. You are now in this star, as an example, you are Standing up. And this is start here. Now you want to go up to the second floor. So you can use, use the left or the right. Now, when you go up now on the next floor, you are here now. You can use the one to the left or the one to the right or the one in the middle. So how many ways you can? You can choose the left with the left, the left with the left in order to reach, or the left with the middle. So now remember, left with left, left with middle, or the left with the right, or 
the right one with the right or the right with the middle or the right with the left. If you choose the left with left, you reach the third floor. If you reach right with left, you reach the third floor. So how many ways here you have? You have by the tree diagram, if you use the tree diagram here that we say left and right. With the left, you can go to the left. So this is the left, this is the middle, and this is the right. Here, let's lay them with one and two. So you can use the first one with the left or number one with the middle or number one with the right. And you can choose number two with the left, number two with the middle, and number two with the right. So here, how many choices we have now? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So how many choices we have now? Six. Six choices. If you use the tree diagram, you have six. If you use, let's use the counting methods, which is easier to me. How many escalators now we have at the first floor? You have two. One and two. One and two. So you have two only. How many escalators now at the third and the second floor? We have one, two, and three. So I multiply two by three to get the number of the routes or the ways to 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 uh, go from the first up to the third floor. Is it clear? Yes, Miss. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, Miss. Okay. Now let's have this example here. A pizza shop offers eight vegetable toppings and six meat toppings. How many different pizzas can you order with one meat topping and with one vegetable topping? Now you go to the pizza market. You have to, well, you want to choose two pizzas. One of them with meat and one of them with vegetable. So you look at the vegetable. You have eight, eight types of vegetable. One with mushroom, one with pepper, one without pepper and so on. And we have six types of meat toppings. And you want to choose one from here and one from here. So how many ways do we have to choose one meat and one vegetable? Yes, a great eight. How many ways? Teacher, um, the standard the question I'm writing down. What's each way, teacher? Here, you go to the pizza shop. They offer to you eight vegetables topping and six meat toppings. You want to have one vegetable with one meat. So how many? It will be 40. I mean 48. 48. 48. 48. Bravo. You have, say, I have eight vegetable toppings. With six meat toppings. So just multiply eight times six to get the number of possible out of possible. The uh, pizzas, which are 48. Is it clear? So when I ask you, they are asking what? how many different pizzas you can order with one meat and one vegetable topping. When I told you how oh. many different pizzas you have to know, or you have to find it. So you have to use the counting methods. You multiply the number of the vegetables 
with the number of the meat. So in the question asking you how many different pizzas, so you have to multiply <clears throat> uh, how many different pizza, pizza with meat and vegetable, you have to multiply the number of the meat with the number of the vegetable. Okay. Okay. I will ask you now another example. It's not written. I will read it for you. Here. Now, when I ask you now, like, what's the second piece? Now, um, <coughs> now here, there's a shop offers three different kinds of bread Okay, there's a shop offers to you three different kinds of bread with eight different kinds of topping. Okay, on the sandwiches. So how many different sandwiches are possible? 24. 24. Bravo. 24. 24. You multiply 3 times 8 to get to 24. Okay. Another way. Another example now. You go now to the shop. When you go to the shop, you give the, you give me your a menu. You have sandwiches. In the menu, and we have uh, drinks. For the sandwiches, you have as an example, uh, let's say burger and charm. And for the drinks, we have Pepsi, we have juice, and we have seven up. And we have, um, let's say here in the sandwiches, like uh, what example of sandwiches we have, such as falafel. Okay, here's a menu now. When you go to the shop, you have this way, this three of uh, three options. Burgers, shawarma, and fella. And the drinks, Pepsi, juice, and 7-Up. You want to choose one from the sandwiches and one from the drink. So here, let's write now how many ways you can choose them. What are the, all the different choices you have? Let's see what the different choices. We can choose burger with Pepsi, burger with juice, and burger with 7-Up. Is it right? This is one of your choices. I can choose burger with Pepsi. I can choose burger with juice. I can choose burger with 7-Up. You can choose shawarma, and shawarma 
if you want to drink something, you can drink it with Pepsi or with juice or with 7-Up. And you have the falafel. And this falafel here, you can drink it with Pepsi, with juice, and with 7-Up. Here are, hello, what are these things? These things are the many of the different ways to choose one sandwich with one drinks. So how many choices we have? One, two, three. I can have burger with Pepsi, burger with juice, burger with 7-Up, shawarma with Pepsi, shawarma with juice, shawarma with 7-Up, falafel with Pepsi, falafel with juice, and falafel with 7-Up. So how many ways you have? Nine ways. Nine ways. Nine. Nine. So one of the choices by using the tree diagram. And the second choice, but that is kind of way, sorry, to find how many different ways to choose one sandwich with one drink, just you have to say how many ways for the sandwich? You have three. How many ways for the Pepsi? You have a three. Multiplying them, you will get the same number. So when you find a question, ask you about how many different ways or how many different uh, uh, sandwiches or how many different type of pizzas, you have to use the counting methods. How many? It's mean counting methods. And for this example here, if I give you the number of the vegetable top or the number of sandwiches with the number of drinks, and I told you, I'm asking you how many number of ways to choose one sandwich with one drinks, you have to use the counting methods. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. And this yes, is yes, you have many things you have to differentiate between them, to distinguish between them. So for the counting methods, is it clear? Yes, miss. It's it clear. Is. Let me check. Okay. Now let's start with the permutation. Permutation now, that's I want Anna things, or I want to choose things, but in order. It is an arrangement of objects in a specific order. That's me. I have, now as an example now, three girls. I want to order them. We have, as an example, Farah. We have Jana. And we have Sarah. These three girls now, I want to order them. First, I can put Farah, then Jana, then Sarah. I can put Farah. So what you have to do here, let's try the names of the girls here. Farah, Jana, and Sarah. So now, we can, or Farah can sit with Jana and then she can sit with Sarah. And Farah can sit with Sarah and then with Jana. And uh, Jana can sit with Farah. I mean, not like, or not like this, I'll just describe you in another way. I want now to choose them in order. Okay, as an example, <clears throat> we have to choose the first. I told you now I want to choose 
three first three girls from you uh, to be to work in the project of math. One of them is the supervisor. One of them is the um, let's name that the planner, and one of them let's say that's the co co supervisor. So I can. So we have here three. I want to, I, if I told you, I want to choose the first three girls in the class. So I'm talking about permutation. Why? Because I need to order them. Farah is the supervisor. Jana is the co-supervisor. And Sarah is the planner. Or Sarah is the planner. Jana is the supervisor. And Farah is the co-supervisor. And another example. Farah is the supervisor, Jana is the planner, and Sarah is the... So here, how, how many, let's say now, what are the possible things we have? We could put Farah first, then Jana, the second, then Sarah, the third. We can put Farah the first, Sarah, the second, and Jana the third. We can put uh, Jana the first with Farah with Sar the third. We can put Jana with uh, Sarah the second and Farah the third. And we can put Sarah the first, and Jana the second, and Farah the last. And we can put Sar the first, Farah the second, and we have Jana. So here now, this is this things here that's we call it permutation. Permutation that's I want to find the number or the possible number of girls with order. I have to have these three girls and I want to see how can I arrange them? How can I arrange them in order? Hello. If I ask you how many methods, you have to use the counting methods. If I told you how many arrangement, you have to use permutation or combination. How many arrangements you can order Farah, Jana, and Sarah? You will use the permutation. That means I have nine ways to, or uh, six ways, sorry, to order them. Now, what's the way that we can, or what's the way, or what's the formula that can we use to find the number of arrangements? Shall I, can I every time write all the name of the girls? If I forget one. So there's a formula that can we use to find the number of the permutation. This way we call it an factorial. But before solving it, let's solve this program here. This program here, uh, this uh, problem, sorry, here, you have put nine players. We need now to, to arrange nine players in the team. So here, how many players you have? You have nine. You have pink, red, they are different now. You have yellow, you have green, You have blue, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So here now you have many div uh, different t uh, players. You want now to arrange them. So now, before we start with problem two, please, the very soon will finish after one minute. So please, I want you to leave the meeting and rejoin. Okay.